Hey there, today I'm back playing Franbo. Um, oh, I, I, why didn't I realize that was loud before? Um, this is the first video you're gonna, I'm gonna upload with the pop filter, maybe. No, because Friday vlogs, I don't, I don't know. My schedule's all out of whack. I don't understand. Okay, so now we have to go and see the king now that Fran's back. So, let's go do that. Um, I'm trying to get through this series uh, a little bit quicker than I normally would do. What am I trying to say? Like than than I have been doing, um, just because I want I want to keep things moving on the channel, and I've already got a couple of good ideas for the next you choose the series sort of thing, uh, and I know I definitely know which one I'm leaning towards. So we will see, won't we? Um, is he in his throne room? Oh, everything is fine. It feels like heaven. What are you? Leave Mr. Midnight alone. Is your head playing with you again? Can you see yourself in the mirror? Can't you see yourself in the mirror? I'm not you. I'm not. Let Mr. Midnight go now. I think I'm being too loud. Let me just move this away a little bit. We killed the traitors. Because that is what he is. Fran, don't you see? My kitty is not a traitor promised to be by my side. He promised. As your mommy and daddy did, who promised to take good care of you. Wake up, Fran. You are surrounded by traitors. Right, my microphone keeps moving because I'm trying to talk into it, like, make it creepy, but it's just not working for me. Leave me alone. Leave my friend alone. I'm the only one you have, Fran. The only one who is always by your side. Now let's get rid of this traitor. Eh. Sorry. Eh. What do you say? Let's be happy. Let's be so very, very happy together. Well, that's just mean. Why you kill Mr. Midnight's? Go away. Go away. It wasn't me. Apparently, it wasn't. It wasn't her. It wasn't Fran. Um. I, I can't remember what voice he gave me. It's been so long since we heard him. Um, Fran, what's wrong? Why are you crying 84 years? It, I'm crazy, sir. I'm totally crazy. The doctors were right. But were they? Why is she crazy? She's, 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 she's taking crazy pills when she doesn't need to. But you're not crazy. I'm very sorry you feel that way. You should be happy now. You found the stones and you became human again. 84 years. That is very great indeed. Um, who's that? That's Mr. Midnight speaking, isn't it? I think so. I don't know. Um, my dear, let me wipe those t those tears. But you're a cat. How do you how do you do that without clawing my eyes out? I don't want to hurt you, my dear. Door. Front door. Um. And I feel like I'm about to do it at any moment. Why? Why would you do that, Fran? You don't need to do that. Um. Like, that's too close. I, like, I keep wanting to go into Fran's voice, and then I keep wanting to go into Midnight's voice. Um. You won't. I know that. Because you love me. I do love a bit of Sean Bean Cat, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, Kitty. I do love you very, very much. Very, very, very. Fran, remember what I told you. If you love, you are alive. And that is the only thing that matters 84 years. And you will always find the power to fight those monsters in you 84 years. Now let's go and open the gates so you can go home 84 years. Yes, yes, let's do this. Okay, let's go and find the door. The doorway that is scary and stuffs. Okay, where where's the where's this? Ah, hello. Is this the gate? Here we are. Yes, but where is the door? Um. All right, I have to make it visible. Eighty-four years. Um. But are you sure you want to go back? I'm sure, sir. All right, here we go. Eighty-four years. The human must leave. 
open the secret door into her reality into four years. Let the human return home. Ah, oh, there it is. There's a pentagon. Is that symbol symbolic of a, of a pentagrams? Um. Oh wow! Uh, oh. See, I just I just can't get these voices right. Oh wow! We're going home, Kitty. Oh, there's the wizard. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, no, wait, that wasn't his voice. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Ziar the, the king. Good day to you. I brought the stone so this lovely creature can go home. Thank you, sir. I'm... I'm very ner... I'm very nervous. It'll be strange to be far away from you all. Then don't leave. No, wait. That, then don't leave. I can make you a place to stay. A very magical place, because I'm a magician, you see. Wizard, she has to leave. I received a message from one of the Velarkas. And she's not ready. Oh, I see. What, what, what am I not ready for? Um, What are you talking about? Ready for what? Come on, wizard. Place the stones. We have no time to lose. 84 years. But ready for what? Um, you know, the Velocus, Velocus, I still don't know how to say that, told you about facing your truth in 84 years. Ah, yes, I think I remember. Um, well, should I remember? Oh, uh, I thought he was talking about should I remember this conversation. Um, yes, go ahead, wizard, sir. Um, Matt, uh, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't, can't get back into his voice after doing the king's voice, it's really weird. Magical stones create the lock that only the human, that only the human can break. That's just more like Sean Bean Cat. I don't know what's happening anymore. I found the stones. Good job. I did it. Well, now it's time for Fran to be the key. You're the only one who can open this now. Oh wow, alright, let's see. What do I do? What? Oh. Oh, oh, what? What is this? This is some creepy ass puzzle. Not creepy, scary ass puzzle. Right, so that resets that one. They all reset each other though, I don't understand. Okay. Oh, there we go. It's working. I'm doing it. I'm doing a good. A pentagram again, really? I was right, wasn't I? A, pent a pentagon, pentagram. There it is. There's that weird portal. I smell victory again. You did it, Frat. You can now go home. Um. I'm so excited. Oh. I wish I could leave you something so you can remember me. We won't forget you. You're a very special creature. 84 years. Um. Oh, I almost forgot. Polondris gave this, gave me this for you. What the hell is that? Oh, thank you. Tell Polondris that I wish I could help him with his wounds. Um. I gave my aid patches to a girl in the hospital. But anyway. Aid patches? They just that just sounds weird. Fran, why are you call them that? Um I'll tell him, don't worry. Polondris is better now. Oh ho, before you go, you must know. That rhymed. Before you return to your reality, you will go through the secret woods. The secret woods. Sounds scary. The woods are very uh the woods are a kind of invisible passage between our realities. Simple as that, you know? Just gotta get with it. And you may encounter terrible creatures that want to eat you. It could happen, it's a possibility. But just run. They are quite slow. And you are telling me this now? Hmm, that sounds very scary. Don't worry, you'll be fine, 84 years. Hee <laughs> hee, I hope so. Well, Mr. Midnight, say goodbye. Let's go now. Goodbye, gentlemen. I had a great time. I like you... I, I like you very much. Goodbye. Here we go, into the portal. 
I think I just got some kind of YouTube notification, I'm not sure though. Right. Did we complete the chapter? What is this? Oh, okay. What the he Oh my god. This is this this is another mini game. Oh, I fell. Right. I feel like I can do this mini game though. I'm not going to lie. I feel like this is uh, this is one that I'm capable of. If I didn't actually Yes, there we go. That's a pretty scary monster. I'm not going to lie. I'm pr I'm terrified. That's nightmare fuel. Come on, friend. Keep running. <gasps> no, I fell in the holes. Oh, do I have to start from the beginning every time? I don't want to. I don't want to quit it though, because this is actually enjoyable. Like I, it wasn't like the maze one where it was gonna get infuriating. Actually, I take that back. <laughs> I feel like it is gonna get infuriating, but oh well. See, what I like about this microphone as well is that it, it, while it's like really close to me, but it doesn't completely cover cover me. I mean, some of the lighting's a bit weird on my face, but. I could always fix that with shining a light in my face, like YouTubers do. Like that, like no, no, I did it. All right, I did it. Right, and a hop, and a flop, and a flop a de bump. Douche. Like I wish the jump was longer, because then I wouldn't get fall down the hole so down so damn much. I can't talk today. I'm very tired. I've already recorded the first episode of Outlast, which is coming on Monday. <gasps> oh, oh, I thought I did that wrong. Oh, oh, I'm scared. I don't want to mess up now. I'm on a roll. I'm on a riggedy roll. I'm on a roll. I'm on a riggedy roll. I'm on a roll. I'm on a riggedy roll. I'm on a roll. I'm on a riggedy roll. Mm-mm. I'm on a riggedy roll. Oh, that was close. That was close. Too close for me, Fran. Two, six, five, me. A troll run. That was a troll? Was it? Was it really, though? Chapter 4, Part 1. My imaginary friend. Good job. Who's my imaginary friend? Who knows? Ah, there are my pills. Oh. My pills. <laughs> um. My goodness, the door opened. Wow, interesting. Come on, Mr. Midnight, let's find out where we are. Where's Mr. Midnight? Oh, there he is. There goes the door, I suppose. Oh, oh. Why did I, I was about to go back into the king's voice. Oh, Fran. I hope we can find home soon. I'm starving. Mr. Midmite, look. I think we're on the other side of the bridge. Do you remember the one we tried to cross before we fell into a thirster? Yes, I remember. I'm not that thick. Great. Let's keep on going, Kitty. We have to be careful now. Right. What about my pills? Those are my pills. The the disappearing Fran, that's where they're going. Let's catch up with the pills. Home. That's a very suspicious sign. Because people don't just have signs that say home that go directly to their home. If you do, you have to be some kind of like Oh, I've been ensnared. Well. Oh no, I shouldn't have touched the pills. Bad Fran. Bad. Um Ah, but I have the knife. No, we're not. We're not trapped forever and ever. I have the knife. Yay! I did it. I did it. Hey, I did it. I did it. Hello, you're a skeleton. Oh, right. How? What voice am I going to give you? Uh, mm. Should I give him a Jamaican voice? I give him a Scottish voice or an Irish voice. Oh, Fran, you're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. 2.35. And as I see it, you're not trapped anymore. Interesting. I like This is a good voice room. I'm happy I chose this. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I'm Itward, your faithful friend. Itward, do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Um. Oh. Oh, something's just happened. I'm not sure what's just happened. I'm scared. I think I clicked out of the game. Um. Okay, right. Oh, yeah, so... Oh, oh crap. No, I... Because I clicked, I couldn't read the message. I helped you get to... to miss, uh, I helped you to get Mr. Midnight back, you see. Really? Huh. I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you one, the one that made the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They believed it was me. But, you see, 
it, but that's because they never looked into themselves, to be sure. What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blamed me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. Wow, oh, harsh. But let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Do you recognise me, dear friend? A long man with a top hat. I came by. I, I always came by. I was. I always came by night and told you stories when you were just a wee little baby. I, I I came to you after you imagined me, but I'm not imaginary. You see, I'm part of your reality. The accent sound of fading out now. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar. Yes, I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. That's the truth. That's the truth. 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 Um, I know my uh, Irish accent is going to be unbelievably offensive, but it's all about having fun on the channel, all right? We got to come up with new voices. You're you're able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Follow me. Um, yeah, take me home. Take me home. I can't let you do that. I don't know you. I won't hurt you. I'm not made out of darkness. I'm your friend. To be sure. Hmm, alright. You seem nice. I'll go with you. But I won't trust you yet. That's fine. Come on now. I have something to show you. Wow, you are a tall man. I like Itwood. He's a cool looking character. Alright, let's go. Oh. I feel like I'm back in a thirster. What the hell is that? Behold! The flying Itward machine! What do you think? I love it! It has so many buttons to push! Yes, with this gorgeous piece of machinery, it'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I fix the details. Besides, it's not 2.35 yet. I would not make a good Irishman. Um, That sounds great, but what is it about 2.35, sir? I don't understand. I'm sorry, microphone. Oh Jesus, that's how tired I am. Like, if you know, if you see me on in a video, that makes I'm, I'm very tired. It's when be it's when time becomes slower, and that gives us a chance to enter the ultra reality, whatever the ultra reality is. Inside the ultra reality, I have to say it properly enunciate. Um, we can travel wherever we want to go. Right now, we're standing on the endless limits of the second reality, but. You are third. You are part of the third reality. The accents go in, but you are part of the third, of the third reality. Do you understand? Yes, I do understand. That sounds insane. But sir, should I just wait until you are done fixing the machine? Wait. Of course not. You can help by getting water and fireberries. All right. All right. It's better than doing so, doing so to do something than nothing at all, I guess. Oh God. Great! Here is my amazing handbook. Um, a handmade bucket for for the water. I made it myself. That's a pretty cool bucket. Not gonna lie. And and the fireberries. You'll realise which berries to pick up because of the fire. All right, sir. But can I ask? Can I just ask? Why do you need berries and water? Ah, well, the berries are incredibly good fuel. They last for many hours, unlike my energy. And the water is to get rid of the dirt. The ca Kamalus. Oh, Kamalus, I see. I hope they don't com come flying around the machine. We never know. But we do know that they don't like water, yes? Oh, darling. I almost forgot. Your medicine. You need it. Some things are still invisible to your, to your eyes, you see. Here. Okay. Invisible to my eyes. Hmm. I see. Well, thank you. My god, there's been so much text in this goddamn thing. I was trying to catch the pills earlier. But the trap caught me first. Wait, that was... that was... Uh, I don't even know. Ah, uh, yes. I'm s about that. I'm sorry. I needed to get your attention somehow. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap like in one second. Anyway, I'll go and get the fireberries in the water. I'll be right back. Great. I'll be preparing the machine. Okay, good job. I think, hang on, I just saw some berries in the tree that looked brighter than the rest of the background. So if I take my pills, are they going to become... 
That's a bit weird. Are they fireberries? Uh, right. Apparently, I don't want to go into that reality. Um, how about here? Very strange. Very, very strange. Indeed. Very, very strange. In hell is that way. Okay. I agree. Ah, hello. Um. Hello. Are you those shiny insects that get stuck in trees because of your curiosity? We actually get stuck, yes. We usually get stuck, yes. How do you know this? You're not one of us. I met some of your kind before. I helped them get free from curiosity. Ah, oh, that's very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. Um, yes, I think curiosity is a good thing. But are you stuck? Not at all. We are trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. I am so unbelievably tired. Like, I have not been this tired recording a video before. Wow, that sounds amazing. Look, I have to go now. Bye. Right, okay. Okay, so what if I try and cut the berries down? Like, can I... Ooh, where do I get water from? That's a good point. Can I... Um... Hmm. Can I climb the hair? That's my own body, so... Right. Uh, what items have I got? Nothing much. Oh, if I use the matches with the berries, can I, can I do that? Can I can I use the matches with the berries? It won't do. I don't know where. How do I get? Where do I get water? It would. Did you find the fire? Oh, did you find the fire berries in the water? I need them for the journey back home. No, I didn't. Can I ask where to get? Ah, could I? Can I get them from here? If I go back into ah, there they are. Okay. Oh, oh, the berries are on fire. This has to be the fire berries. Right? Can I cut them down? Um, can I climb? What is that? Can I climb this? Oh, it talked. Huh? Excuse me. I thought you were dead. How could you possibly think that? You have no manners, young lady. I'm very sorry, but you seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me? Rotten and bloody? I, I think you are misunderstanding the situation. Why do you say why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose? I'm not a moose. I'm a deedle worm. Deadle worm. Ha ha. Deadly worm. Deadly worm. Deadly worm. Ah, get it. Ex Excuse me. A deadly worm. A deadly worm? No, no, not a deadly worm. A deadly worm. I, w I won't go around killing creatures. I don't go around ki I just give back to the soil what the creatures took from it and don't need any more. But I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Oh, there. Down here, creature. Can you see me? Oh, there you are. You're so tiny. My na Hello, my name is Fran. Hello, Fran. Can I ask why you... Why did you touch the moose in the first place? Normally only scavengers would touch dead animals. Are you one? Of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb on it to reach the fireberries. I see. I think it is possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fireberry is on fire. You can hurt yourself. Yes, I see the fire, but I have to take them somehow. Good luck with that. Climb on now. I'll keep working. Thank you, sir. Well, I like the deadly worm. Deedle worm, deadly worm. It was deadly worm. Why am I trying to change it? Uh, right, if I cut them, can I cut them down? But they are on fire. Right, hang on. If I. Ah, there we go. Ah, right. I see now. I can just cut them off now. Yay! I did it. I did it. I did it. Okay, right, so. Drop down. Um, oh, right, I need to go back into this reality. And then plop down onto the floor. Awesome. I mean, I really want one want to be Fran climbing all over that thing. So let's switch back to the where it's kind of nice, but not too great. Uh, and give him these. Use the fireberries with it, would. Sir, I brought the fireberries, but they are not on fire anymore. 
Magnificent. Oh. Magnificent. They will do just fine. Thank you very much, my darling. Right, now I need to get water somehow. How do I get water? Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Can I climb down? Oh, I can climb down. Okay. Oh, can I use can I use the hair? Their their hair to to lower it down into the water. Is that a thing I can do? Uh, we're just trying to right. Okay, so if I use this with this with the hair, I need help, please. Would you allow me to tie this bucket to a beautiful hair? Tie a bucket to a hair? Why? That sounds insane. Oh, it's not insane at all. I need water from under cliff, but I can't reach it. I need to use your beautiful long hair as a rope. Please help me. All right, we'll help you. Tie the bucket real tight. Oh, thank you. You're very nice. Fill up the whole bucket, please. Awesome. Cheers. Right. Do I just talk to him now? There we go. The bucket is now full of water. Oh, thank you, you shiny insects. I have to go now. I have to go home. Home is somewhere we all wish to belong. But home does not... But does home belong somewhere? Um... What? I'm sorry. I didn't really understand the question. It was a rhetorical question. I just wanted to say that you are your own home. <laughs> you welcome yourself inside. You will find many doors to open. Oh, that sounds mysterious and beautiful. I'll try that to do that some other time. Bye. Okay. So now, is that is that definitely... Yeah, that's definitely water. I thought that it might have changed into blood at the bottom. Because it, we are in the weird reality. Alright, flip back to that. Give him the waters. And then I'm going to end this episode here. Made some good progress. Sir Richwood, here's a bucket full of water. I got help from the shiny insects. Do you mean the lowest of hands? They are nice, yes. But only when you see them in this reality. They're very dangerous if you see them in the fifth reality. They can burn you. Wow, burn me? Well, I haven't been to, into the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. What's reasonable there? Maybe, maybe the worst you'll ever experience. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, Fran. Ah, Fran, it's 2.34. The journey will begin. Let's go inside the machine. Right, let's, well, I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, I feel like that went well. Um, we're making good progress. There's a lot of text in that first, like, 20 minutes, but I suppose we have to get it out of the way. And I feel like we're getting towards the end. I feel like maybe another two hours, which is, what, four episodes? Um, so I'm already, uh, that's why I'm already pre preparing early, because the last, the end of the last series Saturday's got a jump on me, and that was very hectic. But for now, from like, favorite, comment, and share, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Literally no, no updates, nothing new happening. Just things are going well and let's just keep on motoring, as the Irish would say.